Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. So this morning we are having a having a little bit of a, of a pump. Um, as you can see, we are above this uh, resistance area, which is obviously uh, obviously good to see. A few wicks above it on some four-hour candles, but we're now above it again. Uh, obviously, got a while on this candle. We could probably draw in a a downward sloping trend line where we could we could easily get rejected at, uh, and then come obviously back down below, and then potentially take out this more important trend line we've got to the downside. Uh, that is obviously the bearish case, which is basically anywhere around here we could sell off from. Or if we do a break above here, uh, then yeah, we could potentially we should expect an acceleration towards this uh, into this uh, resistance area. And then it is a case of can we do we have the uh, do we have the uh, momentum, ability, the will uh, to break through it through forty-two thousand? Uh, we shall we shall have to see. We are going to be heavily driven by what is going on in stock markets, and as you can see, getting a bit of a rally here. No surprise which is uh, what is helping uh, crypto rally uh, we have got uh, big earnings for some tech com big tech companies uh, coming in uh, today so and then we've also got an important Bank of Japan meeting as well so lots of uh, lots of volatility to be expected uh, but we are pretty beaten up markets looking pretty dangerous could we hopefully get some upside some volatility to the upside <clears throat> obviously volatility is direction neutral can we get it can we get it to the upside we shall have to see uh, Ethereum a USD also bouncing off that trend line and currently a above that uh, resistance area so it is uh, obviously looking better than it is doing um, the more distance we can make away from this uh, this this trend line uh, the similar one we have in BTC uh, the better because uh, that could uh, spell uh, spell relative disaster if we break below it Ethereum Satoshi pairing well kind of drifting in a downward channel so maybe this will have a break to the upside take out this resistance and continue on upside to the upside but I think we are uh, basically having to expect a uh, a risk on trade in wider markets and uh, medium term at least uptrend in risk assets uh, for that to happen quick glance at the ruble look at it look at it go uh, Russia basically has uh, signed on uh, I think uh, uh, 10, 10 apparently energy buyers uh, into ruble accounts to have to buy uh, have to buy their 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 gap their energy and then also told the rest of the uh, rest of the people buying their energy uh, if you don't buy in rubles we're t we're not supplying you so uh, obviously strength strength in the ruble there <clears throat> 10 year hovering there or thereabouts dxy still looking disgusting this is awful <laughs> this is awful this obviously has to at some point have a pullback but i mean how high does it squeeze up i mean this obviously looks like the last leg but uh that could maybe give us that nice medium term uh rally in risk assets when this does have a pullback it will have a pullback it's just a case of where it has a pullback from and where risk assets are at at that point in time uh bitcoin dominance uh 42 here you can see uh 42 percent just uh, just at the top side of this resistance area so i mean we could have a breakdown we could get rejected practically exactly where we are uh in in bitcoin at the at here uh and then come down take out this trend line and then have an absolute disastrous uh uh well <laughs> remainder to the week that could very likely happen and then obviously bitcoin dominance could probably shoot up as well in that scenario uh so uh yeah i mean realistically i think it's all eyes on the stock market at the moment it i mean it's looking okay it's looking better um but it has got to get well we can extend this this channel uh, we've got to get basically above this resistance and above this channel. Uh, so realistically speaking, a 43 handle, uh, and then we may be able to look for some uh, more protracted upside, potentially taken out of the 40, uh, 44, 4400 handle. So uh, yeah, as much of a bullish spin as I can put on it. Gold wrecked, but uh, obviously bouncing off this support area. But yeah, pretty much uh, wrecked in light of obviously the scenario, the situation, and silver uh, also also wrecked. <laughs> uh nascoin uh i mean if the if this is just a short-term bounce then we come down and come down and trade lower it would literally just like normal like what's happening this whole trend so we are clutching at straws and hoping that this does turn this around in the medium term all i can really say is this dxy uh needs to be brought back under control because this i mean if this carries on um we are we are going to have a stock market crash 
so uh, yeah, that will they will be acutely aware of that. Uh, quick look at stochastics. Quick glance at stochastics. Are they are they on our side? Uh, yeah, four hour is moving up. So uh, maybe we can get up and hold above and get towards uh, get above that. Like, obviously, um, short term downward sloping trend line. In fact, I'll show you that short term downward sloping trend line and get back to forty two hundred. Uh, 42,000 maybe uh, the four hour can help us do that 10 hour uh, I assume will be turning up as well here if it wants to load um, oh, oh well yeah actually looking to turn down here so obviously in uh, in confluence with that uh, trend line uh, not looking ideal but 12 hour pointing upwards and got plenty of room to run uh, daily actually turning back up here as well uh, at present so that is actually a really good sign here 12 hour and daily four hour looking good uh two day turning up from a low level also three day looking to turn back up five day obviously not looking good and weekly i mean it's there or thereabouts isn't it uh and then bi-weekly uh well down there so realistically though these this is not looking a bad stochastic read uh all we've got to do is get above this trend line get above 42 and it it, it does look like we've got a good chance of doing that uh, and then if we get there, uh, realistically, uh, the upside of the next range around 47 is on the cards. So that is a bullish scenario. Obviously, if we get more of a pain trade in this and if we get a dump in this, uh, in this, then, uh, I mean, obviously, we know the downside would be more likely. But if this does continue upward above 43 and head towards 44, I mean... I can't see us not getting above 42 and heading towards 47. So there's a positive spin for the day. Thank you for listening. Uh, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. And I shall speak to you guys soon.